There's no way this guy doesn't know we're not shooting returning the favor. There's just no way. When Hudson Media calls... But Hudson Media doesn't call. We have a big production company head calling. Really? Big production. So now they're called a... Uh, now everybody knows. If you get a call for production... I don't want to ruin it. Delete, delete. Somebody cue the music. So the crew and I are back on the road. Come on, Lucian, it'll be great. Searching America for bloody do-gooders people who are slightly better than us doing nice things for their community in a completely selfless way this is unreal how did this happen it's pretty simple we find them we meet them <laughs> and then we surprise them no! oh my god i'm about to faint no! <laughs> i'm mike rowe this is returning the favor We're on our way to Canisius. Canisius? Yeah, south of Rochester, which is where Justin Cogswell, our honoree, has a garage. His organization is called Operation Buildup. He gets junkyard cars that aren't running anymore. He restores them, and then he gives them to vets who are in need of transportation. Didn't you tell me all this over breakfast? Yep. So he's been doing this for about two years. He found a property, just a little shed, no heat, no running water, a pretty bare bones operation. The town came in, noticed that he had a zoning violation. He right. Did. And uh, now he's, as you can see in this video, dealing with the town hall. Did we find him on my site? Yeah, on the Return to Favorite? We just want how better it's out. And whatever we have to do to make it happen. We're going to watch the rest of this. Stay with us. My name's Justin Cogswell. I'm the CEO of Operation Buildup. Operation Buildup takes in vehicles, we fix them, and we surprise veterans that don't have reliable transportation. When we surprise them with a vehicle, it's an unbelievable reaction. They're shocked, they're thrilled, it's, it's very overwhelming. Reliable transportation is vital to our veterans' success. They can get to VA appointments, they can get to work, they can smoothly intertwine into civilian society. It's not something small. This is something huge. I served in the Marines from 2001 until 2008. My military track record isn't the best. I cared more about screwing up than uh, picking up a rank. It had a very negative impact on my life. When I returned home from the Marines, I ran into my own issues. I had a vehicle where the engine blew. I lost work, couldn't pay rent. It was a pretty dark period of my life. To sum up, we have ourselves an honoree who doesn't appear to be an angel. Justin broke a few eggs in the Marine Reserves, and he's stepped on a few toes here in Rochester. His front lawn is full of beat-up cars, and maybe that makes him a less-than-ideal neighbor. But he's doing something that is sorely needed. He's fixing up those cars and giving them to veterans who are in desperate need of transportation. So, we're going to return the favor. Hold on, I need to fix one thing. You'll thank me later. Many people call and say, Mike, what exactly does Brent do on the show? I'm the fluffer. <laughs> Here in Rochester, the snow is omnipresent, and Justin is in that building right now. I'm going to go get his story, meet some of his friends, and see firsthand what he's doing to help vets get a leg up. Well, you're not going to walk right across that field? Stupid idea, Jacob. Kind of funny though. <laughs> this orange sign is the town notice. And you see this on your fence. It's just never ever good. In a nutshell, that is Operation Buildup. Time now to meet the man behind the operation. Oh man, look at that. I got an entrance and everything. Holy hey, cow. Hey. How are you? Good morning, man? Mike. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome home. <laughs> no, I'm great sorry. to be here. I love what you've done with the place. I know, isn't it great? Awesome. Justin oh, cool. uh, Cogswell. Yes, you got it. You're not even wearing long sleeves. No, we just heated it up for you. We got it We got it about a comfortable 45 degrees. It's balmy. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Who's under the truck? This is Gunny. Gunny? Hey, Mike, how's it going? Don't get up. <laughs> it took him a while to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, getting down is easy. Exactly. Old jokes. So, I love your place. It looks great. Yes. But I want to understand what you've been going through. I saw some footage of you at a town hall. 
That's right. It's difficult. We bought the property as mixed use. This is supposed to be our home sweet home. We showed up and, and within the first week, the code enforcement officers were here and um, writing us violations. We really don't know where we stand. We've got just about everything invested in this property right now. So option A is <clears throat> you can keep the garage here, mm -hmm. but you gotta move the cars somewhere. To another place, yeah. Option B. Um, we get out of Dodge. Is there an option C? There's always an option C. Ah, yes, option C, otherwise known as returning the favor. Not to overstate the obvious, but this guy clearly needs a new space to continue his good deeds. And Brent and the crew have been getting a new 3,000 square foot warehouse in order just for that. So you basically identified a really simple logistical problem. Yeah, it's a, right? it's, exactly. So vets are coming home. Right. They're trying to reassimilate. They're just trying to get back into life, which, by the way, all by itself is a huge yeah, adjustment. Yeah. What we're doing is we're just offering a crutch. It's not going to solve all of the issues, but we're going to make it an easy transition into civilian life. If they trip and fall, we run, we help them up, and they basically take off from there. So it's, it's a huge impact. Where do you get the vehicles? We're getting a lot of them donated, which has been really good. So people in the community, yeah, by and large? Yeah. Show me around the, the vehicle itself and show yeah, me. Yeah, like, this fender right here was completely rotted through. Yeah. So we just cut it off and uh, got one of these little pieces welded in. It's the first time we've ever actually done that. How many have you given away? Um, close to 40 since uh, last January. I'm sorry, close to 40. 40? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. You're here in a modest yeah. building, yeah. surrounded by snow, dealing with the mind-crushing bureaucracy of the political realities of being alive in 2018, but you're still doing your thing. Let's walk that's around exactly this way a little right. bit. If your ability to make a living hinges on asking somebody for a ride, you have a major problem. That's why Justin's work is important. Yeah, he stepped on some toes and run afoul of a few local ordinances, but he's meeting a real need, and he's making a real difference. We handpick these veterans. We put the funds where they can be most successful at preventing veteran suicides or homelessness. We might not be able to save them all, but we're going to make an impact. I'm confident that we can change the world. Gunny, what are the reactions when you give a vehicle to a guy who's like not floored. expecting it? They're floored. The big thing too is veterans are proud. They're never going to ask for it. If you were to tell somebody like, hey, I'm going to hook you up with a car, they'd be like, no, give it to somebody who needs it right. more. And that's why we surprise them because they would never accept it any other way. Awesome. So I'm going to I'm going to go talk to Alec. And sorry, Rob, if there's anything he can be helping you with while you guys chat, it has to be done by the afternoon. Just saying. You're delivering this car? This yeah. afternoon? Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Any mindless polishing? Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not terribly <laughs> useful. See, that's something for me to do. And now the time-honored montage of Mike doing busy work. It's in my contract. Thanks for giving me the lousiest job on the whole truck. <laughs> this is futile. Yeah, you can just go ahead and scrape the register. No, you can't. You can't I mean, <laughs> my hand doesn't fit in there, and this is, I, I can't quit this. I started it, for God's sakes. We're only going to be here for about three hours. Why don't we get the heat gun, guys, and uh, heat that up? Oh, my gosh, it changes everything. Does it? Are you kidding? Right tool for the job, see? Yeah. Look at that. Mission accomplished. Yep. Like a dream. Please, no applause, please. This car, yes. later today, is being delivered to whom? to uh, a local Marine, mm -hmm. he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> right. He's gonna be shuffled out here to a diner. We're gonna be laying in wait, you know, with binoculars and, and walkie-talkies. Can We're I be with you? Oh, absolutely. Good. We're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I love it. I love it because I've just realized that what Justin is really doing is his own version of returning the favor. This has always been the point to do a show that inspires other people to do their version of the same show. It's just that Justin was returning the favor before we were returning the favor, which requires a moment with Brent. These guys in this little tiny garage are doing their own episode of returning the favor. Exactly. Why don't you tell me that? That's how you pitched this show to me. It's like those Russian nesting eggs, okay? It, there's a favor inside of a favor and in the following acts we're going to pull the eggs apart mm -hmm. metaphorically probably not what you're expecting to hear i like that i know it's a good it's a balmy day out here in kinesis new york and while our friend mother nature is gearing up for what they're calling a bomb cyclone 
Our honoree, Justin, is finishing things up for his Operation Build-Up reveal later. While he does that, we're heading down the road to check in on our reveal, which is currently an empty space, bursting with potential. We talked about sort of the issues that Justin is having with his space, right? It's a mess for him. Exactly. What our plan is, is to give him a garage space and outfit him with a new lift, get him a lounge, just a place for veterans and for his volunteers to hang out. I'm Allison. Do you have any update? Yes, Allison. Hi, Allison. So the lift is not pumping anymore. That's Allison. She calls a lot, usually with bad news. Okay, and so is our backup with Brian still an option? Is he going to bring in that secondary lift? Yeah, it takes him like five hours. Yeah. To install this thing. You just have to make sure he has enough time to do it before Justin gets there later. All right, thank you, Allison. All right. Worst case scenario. A picture of a lift. A picture of a lift, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the big reveal is this space here. Yeah huge so the lift will go here we have plenty of parking around we've got a heater here during the cold be. winter months <sighs> this place will be nice and toasty obviously the lift is a critical component of the space we've arranged for justin and if it doesn't arrive in time brent will be very sad on the positive side the cow skin rug arrived early so i got that going for me for a very special episode of returning the favor we called in some of the local vets that Justin's helped in the past, like Jeff, who was down on his luck after returning home from the Army, and Brandy, who brought her kids to help out with some final touches for the reveal. I'm just so grateful for Justin. I think what he's doing is completely amazing. And you are? I'm Dominique. Dominique. What are you driving these days? I am driving a Jeep Liberty. Yeah. That was donated to me from Operation Build-Up. I was homeless, and I, I had my son, he's four, and um, it was hard to get back and forth to work, to pay for daycare. I had lost my car, lost my house. I got invited to a veteran's picnic, and uh, I walk in, and then I hear Justin get on stage, and he surprised me with a, with a Jeep, and it was, it's been a blessing ever since. We need more of this in our communities to kind of build us up and bring us together. Is your car here? It is, yes. Why don't you grab a coat? I'm going to go outside and check out the cars. Okay. It's hard to focus on anything that really matters because now the only thing that matters is getting there. You become like a prisoner at home sometimes and you have someone depending on you and looking up to you and it can be kind of discouraging. So this has definitely been like a really big blessing for me. Are you working now? I'm actually in the process of getting my first poem book published. It's titled Dark Night of the Soul. You want to lay a stanza or two on me? This one is uh, called Nine. We laid there, nakedly, in our garden, like Adam and Eve on a cool, sunny day. No fruit to be eaten. It was virtuous. With my hair untamed, energy radiating through your pores, you looked me in my eyes and I saw myself. Beauty in its purest form, love. <laughs> I'm gonna buy your book. <laughs> you never really know where this show will take you. One minute you're on a cowskin rug, then you're getting a private poetry reading. Then you're lifting a kid in the air because you don't have a ladder. Our lift has arrived. Oh, that's a real lift. It's a real lift. And then, in the spirit of lifting, a literal lift arrives and a metaphorical weight is lifted from Brent's shoulders. Hey, hey. How are you? good, how you doing? Pretty good. So what, the two of us can lift this up and walk in any figure? You try. <laughs> <laughs> we have a plan. It's about a three and a half hour job and we have approximately four and a half, four hours until yeah. it needs to be done. It's kind of close. So just an update on uh, where we stand with the reveal. The next big hurdle is going to be getting the vehicles from our old garage, to, from the current OBU garage, to the new space. Um, Allison's going to be running point on that. The tow guys, though, may or may not be able to, even with the snow removed, get the cars out of there. First in a song if you have to. Oh, I will. If you have to. I might. And what just would might. it sound like if you really laid something on them? Please get me these cars. I have to do everything. And if we don't, the stakes are high. What will become of our show? I don't know. I imagine I wouldn't have a job. And with
without a job. Allison is on the streets again. Very sad. See what I mean? One minute, you're in the middle of another tiresome update. Next minute, you're bursting into song. Meanwhile, we're off to chronicle the first of two reveals. So this is the uh, location here. I just got a text from Rob. Uh -huh. They're sitting down in the diner. The veteran's name is Matt. Okay. We need to scope out here. <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> it's amazing what you can get out of a Cracker Jack box. How's the pickup looking? Is it ready to go? Man, that thing is awesome. Where is it? So it's staged right over here in this loop. Oh, I see it. We've got Jeff and, and Donnie over there. But this is a mission. Oh, this is definitely a mission. Well, I watched Justin return the favor, OBU style. Allison, no longer singing, is dealing with the challenges of towing the broken down cars at Justin's former location. The same broken down cars that got him in trouble with the county. We're going to have to get them onto the gravel so we can load them on the trucks. Because the second we drive on that grass, we're not coming back out. Then we got to call a bigger tow truck. Okay. okay. This really is very weird. Had I fully understood at the beginning that we'd be returning the favor to someone who's already been returning the favor, I'd have made a bigger deal about it back in Act 1. Now that I'm here, there's nothing to do but watch. I thought we were going to come in real fast and do it all like cowboys. <laughs> what happened? This is good. Now look, he's going to come out with all y'all surprised. What's going on? Hey, here, you Matt? What's going on here? How you doing? I'm Justin. Nice to meet you from Operation Buildup. Matt, Mike Ross. You know Mike. How are you, Matt? We heard about some issues that you had encountered. You lost transportation. Yeah, I actually. You were trying to, <laughs> yeah. you were trying to get things. Total my car on the way to work. You were trying to get things under control. We work on the necessary items to help our brothers and sisters in arms get their life back on track and build the type of lives they deserve. There's actually this truck right here. What are you doing with Our it? team right here at Operation Buildup, we put this truck together for you. You're giving me a vehicle? Semper Fi, brother. Not just a vehicle, man. There's the title. Clean title. That's yours. That's your hand up, man. Appreciate you a lot, man. Come on, check it out. Yeah, Start yeah. It up. Semper Fi. Right. <laughs> I hope it starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoorah! Nice! How do you think this is going to help you out? You have no idea. This is so amazing, man. Seriously, you have no idea. Congratulations, brother. You deserve it. Yeah. There's a whole lot going on all at the same time, but they're going to wrap up their little thing, and then I'm going to go ahead and blindfold Justin, and then we're going to hop back in that vehicle and take him back to you know where to do you know what. It's going to be great. Here we are in Act 3 already. One favor has already been returned. Time now for us to follow suit. Toward that end, we are going to blindfold Justin. Why? Mostly just because we have a bandana. And it's been a while since I blindfolded anyone. Now that everyone's in place, what could possibly go wrong? That's a bit... Oh. I really do hate to leave the scene of the crime, but I've got a favor to return and no insurance to speak of and probably no damage waiver. Besides, who cares about a little fender bender? Oh, geez, will you people relax? I'm kidding. Stay blindfolded. Okay. <laughs> Is it yours? Yeah. I did. No. You're Mike. <laughs> Believe me, of all the people to hit your truck, I'm the right guy. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. We'll take the info and yes. we'll get it fixed for you better than new. I, I appreciate it. God. Nicole and Steve, this is their nice car. Back right into it. We're gonna we're gonna get it all fixed tonight. Wrecked up our van. Did we get the da damage waiver? Oh, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, You're doing great stuff. Don't, don't let this slow you down. Oh yeah. Right, there's a blindfolded honoree in the front of the van. I remember now. And that, my friend, is the secret weapon of getting that's content. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the, the extra footage. No, no, that's not the extra footage. That's the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where were we? Oh, yeah, on the road to return the favor. I have a quick update for you, Mike. And yes, I'm going to try to do this in code. Uh, Our biggest obstacle I see. has been overcome. Oh, that's good news. But it took a little longer than expected. Oh. And uh, Jacob and Allison will give us a heads up once we have confirmation that the eagle has landed. Mm. Not merely landed, but taken a big healthy poop. Yeah. yeah. 
That's what we want from our eagles. If I were Justin, sitting there blindfolded for the last hour, I might conclude that Mike and company don't really know what the hell they're doing. On the other hand, maybe I'd just take a nap and wait for Brent to start talking in code again. Either way, you got to applaud his patience. I don't believe you. Let's just go. That's the only way to get him going, Brent. They won't. They're not in position. No. Bye. All right. Freeze, 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 freeze. You said all right. All right. Well, that was my... Freeze. All right, let's chat about this. We're minutes away. Minutes oh. away. I promise you. All right, Brent, we are ready for the vet. Right this way, sir. All right. Please take my arm. All right. Like that's this. A little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Your patience is unexampled, my friend. We wanted to bring you to a place that hopefully is going to uh, make life a little simpler. You know we're fans of what you're doing, and it was a pleasure to watch you do typically what we do better than we do it. But this is our attempt to return the favor to a guy who's been returning the favor for the last two years. <laughs> that is amazing. This is your new garage. That is so cool. There's no way a guy like you, doing the kind of things you've been doing, needs to be dealing with the kind of stuff you've been dealing with and working in those conditions. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. We begin here with a modest little something something <laughs> I like to call this the is office, crazy. which, this as is I recall, you don't have. <laughs> no. That is so cool. When you come to Operation Buildup at this point on, we thought it would be very civilized if you could stroll in <laughs> like a regular Joe. <laughs> that is awesome. Over here, however, is where the rubber meets the road. After you. I'm so glad all of you are here. Obviously, what this guy has been doing for the last two years now helped set the bar for what we're trying to do on our modest little show called Returning the Favor. This is your garage. It's a clean, well-lighted place. There's heat back there. There's a lift that was installed just moments ago. There's room for some of the cars that are currently on your property that are uh, bedeviling some of your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. We hope that this gesture will give you a jump start over the coming year. And we've picked up the first year's rent in the amount of $30,000. You're covered, you're good, and it's time to get back to work. Are you kidding? The floor is yours. This is unbelievable to see uh, so many familiar faces Sorry. If we all uh, focus our energy towards a common goal, we can accomplish so much. I wouldn't take back any of our struggles or successes for anything. Thank you all so much for coming. The keys to your garage. Do great things. Hey, this is our garage. Um, when I walked in the door and I saw everybody put together, it was a pivotal moment because when you walk into an atmosphere like this and you've seen all this love and emotion and respect for what we're trying to accomplish, it's surreal. It just, it's a very hard uh, emotion to explain. But we've, we've fought hard and this mission's not about me. This mission's about all veterans across the country, all the veterans here. This is, this is a home for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. One minute, it's a garage. The next, it's a home for everybody. Call it what you will. Today, it's a place where Justin and his friends can do more of what they're already doing. And a perfect setting for me to remind you of the importance of remembering the men and women who serve on our behalf. And also, to always look twice if you're backing up in a minivan. Hey, did the people make it who I, who I backed into? No, you're here! Steve! 
<laughs> Come here, man. Come here. You guys weren't here to see this, but this was so classic. I backed right into this guy's Ford. <laughs> Smashed up the back of it, knocked their tail light. That was the craziest thing. Thank you for coming by. Donate. But that's right, you might as well donate it now because it's all right. <laughs> the favor has officially been returned in Rochester. When I get to three, you say returning the favor. One, two, three. <laughs> That's how we do it in Rochester. Thank you, brother. Fantastic.